Hey everyone, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. It's Wednesday, August 22nd. Hope you're holding strong, even though the market is in its bear mode and we know we're expecting a bull run later this year, so keep holding strong. I've got some positive news for you guys. Some negative news too, it relates to the Bitcoin ETFs, but we'll go into those details later in the video. I have a lot to cover, so please bear with me and I'll try to get through as, of, as many of this as quick as possible. The first is, as many of you know, Brad Garlinghouse, CEO Ripple, did the live Ask Me Anything on the Ripple YouTube channel. So a lot of uh, confirmations and even some bullish statements uh, made by Brad. So I'm going to give you guys a summary. If you want to watch the whole video, you can look at it on the, at the uh, excuse me, you can view it on the Ripple YouTube channel, but it's the Ripple also published it here on their Insights blog uh, on their website. So be sure to check that out if you haven't. Um, so some takeaways. Brad talked a bit about the volume of clients they've been signing and he's talking about specifically this year and i quote in 20 excuse me in q1 we signed one production product per week in q2 we signed two production products per week q3 will definitely be a record for institutional participation in buying and holding xrp Boy, what are the fudsters and haters going to do now? They've been running around saying the whole time, banks will never use XRP. Banks will never use XRP. Uh, and specifically on XRapid, Brad said, I have had conversations with some of the biggest banks in the world. I have had conversations with small banks. I'm very optimistic that this product, that this is a product that solves a real world problem. And that's what Ripple is doing, solving a trillion dollar real world problem uh, in moving money. Right now, you have to wait four or five days, whatever it is, if you're transferring money, right, to another country with X Rapid, just like that. It moves it fast, settles in seconds. Now, the two banks or the two companies are, or whatever it is, Western Union, whatever it is, uh, MoneyGram or whoever, Santander Bank, it, it, where, regardless of where they're sending the money to, there's, of course, their processing times. So they may add, what, a couple minutes to it, but... I'll rather have a few minutes than days, right? The idea Ripple puts out there or the statement, the analogy they give, we can send emails, we can send photos, videos, text messages, just like that to people around the world, but we can't send money that fast, even though we're in a digital age. Like I said, Ripple's going to do for payments what Google did for the internet. You guys can quote me on that. Um, so Brad confirmed and doubled down. He even mentioned that he brought up the topic again that XRP is not a security. It does not align with the definition of a security. So he confirmed again. Um, and we've gone through this many times, but it's good to see the CEO of the company being transparent, coming out, answering the questions head on. So Brad has also said that banks will go live with XRapid this year. XRapid will move out of beta testing into production. We'll see some banks going live with it. Um, and then he said dozens next year. So keep holding on to your XRP, guys. Now, the next big news, this this is major, man. Um, David Schwartz, you guys noticed the, the chief technical officer at Ripple, published the following blog post today, the inherent decentralized nature of, X, of the XRP ledger. And he calls out Bitcoin and Ethereum big time. I'm going to put a link to this article in the description. I absolutely want you guys to read it. Even if you, you don't hold XRP or um, even if you're not a fan of Ripple, you should be a fan of facts. So if you guys were to come with me with some solid facts and said, hey, I can disprove something with Ripple, I would gladly listen because I don't invest with emotions. I'm not here for, you know, doing some kind of religious cult or following. I'm here to make money. Um, and if you say, hey, there's a problem with Ripple that could affect, you know, your, your investment, I would absolutely listen. It, ha it has to be a valid concern, right? I have not found any and Ripple, even the one things that the smaller issues that people have brought up like the decentralization thing ripple has moved to de being decentralized and this article david schwartz ki like kills the fud it destroys the fud completely talking about proof of work bitcoin and ethereum versus the xrp ledger consensus i'm not going to go through all of this because it's a lot and, and once again i don't I, we have a lot of news to cover but i'm going to call out the the uh important items here and i like this graphic they put together so let's see here some experts suggest that in a worst case scenario miners of bitcoin and ethereum blockchains could use this to their advantage conspiring to rewrite the history of the blockchain through a 51 percent attack that results in verified transactions being 
unvalidated and allows our for fraud to occur. So it shows here uh, the breakdown of the control of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. Right now, four mining groups control uh, have 58% of Bitcoin. Ethereum, three mining pools control 57% of um, the Ethereum. And Ripple runs only 7% of its validators on the XRP ledger. So right there, you have cold hard faxes. They, they, they uh, excuse me, they, they sort, uh, they sort, they, they highlight the uh, sources for where they got the information, like blockchain.com, etherchain.org, and so forth. Um, and here they said, in contrast, the XRP ledger requires 80% of validators on the entire network over a two-week period to continuously support a change before it's applied. Of the approximately 150 uh, validators today, Ripple only runs 10. Unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, where one miner could have 51% of the hashing power, Bitmain in China, each Ripple validator only has one vote in, in support of an exchange or ordering a transaction. So, call hard facts. I know the haters are still probably going to come up with something new, but it's in your face. The data is here. This is not secret. You can find this out about Bitcoin, Ethereum. It's all public knowledge. But people have a religious following and they are very scared of Ripple and XRP because they see the potential. They see the use case. They see the utility. While Bitcoin doesn't have any utility. Oh, I know some people are going to comment, but it's it's used as a base currency. Yeah, to buy other crypto. That's not real world utility, mainstream. Um, oh, but some some sites accept it, overstock and so forth. Yeah, tell me how many people are actually buying stuff with, with their Bitcoin. Not a lot. The majority are holding to make money off of it. It's a speculation tool now. See, this is what I've been talking to you guys about. When we move from speculation to utility, a lot of projects, and I'm not saying Bitcoin's going to die. I hold Bitcoin. I hold Ethereum. I'm looking to make money off of them. Um, but what I'm trying to, I, I'm not trying to put those down. I'm just trying to adjust the FUD, right? I, I want you to understand my perspective. I'm not saying Bitcoin is crap. I'm not saying Ethereum is crap. I'm saying the people behind them are, are putting out FUD and lying and being hypocrites because the same thing they're accusing Ripple of or XRP, they have this the problem now and it's growing because guess what? Everybody wants to make money and the purpose of Bitcoin, the, the, the idea behind Bitcoin is now losing, it's losing its focus. It's now become speculation and money-making tool. You guys know this. I, I, I'm not. This is all logical. Look at the market. Look at the growth of the market. I don't see governments being toppled because of Bitcoin, right? So there you have it, guys. Um, actual facts. So be sure to check this. Uh, check this out and, and take a look. And and there's a lot more in here. Like I said, I don't want to go through everything, but the takeaways are. A lot of the FUD and things that people say about Ripple and XRP is now happening to Ethereum and Bitcoin while Ripple is becoming more decentralized and um, less control is under Ripple's validators itself. Um, it's a def very different setup. So I highly recommend, I'm, I'm please read this. Um, e even if you don't fully understand everything, I, knowledge is power. You should know this. And like I said, those of you who, um, who are not XRP holders, who are my subscribers and, and watchers, you should learn about this because it's it's going to help you to at least not be fooled and lied to and you are a part of the spreading lies. Once again, if you come with cold, hard facts and proof with like something like this that's well built out and says, here's the problem with Ripple, I will gladly listen. But I've seen all of those things and guess what? Ripple has addressed them and they are continue they're so transparent. That's why they do these AMAs and they're publishing content to address the FUD and, and put it out there, guys. So um, I'm a big believer in facts and reason and logic, and this makes sense to me from a not just a crypto standpoint, from a business standpoint, economics. A lot of people are focused, so focused on crypto, they're missing the bigger picture of the real world application. And it's going to hit them like a brick when we move from speculation to utility. A lot of people are going to be unhappy when XRP is number one in the market. You can book that. It's going to happen. Because we we see that uh, X Rapid Exchange partners are, are going live, Bitrex, right? Uh, Coins.ph and Bitso in Mexico. So uh, once the 
institutions start buying high volumes of XRP to be used in the transfer of money, you're going to see the trading volume and the value skyrocket. And um, and, and as it, that grows over time, what do you think is going to happen, guys? When we move, the market matures and we're beyond this dummy speculation phase of something being listed on Coinbase. Oh, my gosh, it gets pumped, which is absolutely nothing. There's, there's nothing there. It's just speculation. It's just being pumped. When we move away from that, it's going to be a whole different ball game. a whole different that mark cap, market cap list is going to change completely. Trust me, guys, um, because we are very much in the infancy stages. And when this thing matures, it's, it, there's going to be a, a big shift. And I think a lot of people are going to be surprised. A lot of people are going to be angry. I, I, I think the XRP folks and Ripple folks who are holding XRP will be happy. Um, you apply business economics and logic to this and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, we have Weiss ratings again. Um, I don't know what's going on with Weiss ratings. I, people are saying it seems like they got hacked, but <laughs> it's just so funny because if you guys recall, I did a video um, just a few weeks ago where they posted something positive about Ripple, but all their previous posts were negative and it was a lot of FUD. It was just... Um, you know, wrong information. They were they didn't understand what they were talking about. But remember the, the the thing we've been talking about. Even Roger Ver and a bunch of other people had to apologize because they were believing and spreading the fud about Ripple and XRP. People are getting educated about Ripple and and XRP. They're because Ripple is putting out a ton of content. They're going out there building relationships, and even Weiss Ratings is now seeing what is happening. It's there's like an awakening happening. Um, so they tweeted today, sadly, Bitcoin has ultimately failed as a currency. People mainly use it for, like I just said, speculating. This is not BTC's fault though, right? Why? And it goes back to who controls the majority of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Remember I told you guys, Peter Thiel, it was public uh, news that he dumped like 20 something million into this market. There's a lot of big whales and if they dump, these little guys running around here on Reddit and YouTube or whatever with, with yeah, a few Bitcoin <laughs> are going to get hurt. And this is what I'm talking about. It's not decentralized anymore, man. It's They they don't grasp what is happening here. Now, the things that they were tr attempting to defeat with Bitcoin, those banks and rich folks now control the majority of Bitcoin and Ethereum. You guys know this. Logic, common sense, doing some research and understanding what's going on will absolutely show you this is what is going on. And that's why I'm saying these the people who are still criticizing Ripple and XRP are hypocrites or they, they just don't want to see it. They just because they're, they're really worried. I, I see people like tweeting the things they say. They're, they're verbal attacks. They are very worried. Um, so Weiss Ratings continues to tweet things uh, um, in favor of XRP. Um let me see if I can pull up the, the most recent one here. But, but notice here, this tweet, hashtag XRP. Something's going on, guys. Weiss Ratings, obviously, they review businesses and a lot of different things. So the fact that Ripple's going out there and working with real businesses, I think they are awakening now, um, which is a very, very interesting here. Um, they had tweeted the other day, I believe, that it would be great if Binance added XRP as a base currency, guys. Let me just see here. Ah, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Um, okay, so this this the, the one. It says Bitrix announced this week that it's rolling out USD for XRP, Ethereum Cloud for eligible corporate accounts. What we really want to see now is XRP based crypto. Yeah, so this is a tweet. We want to see XRP based crypto trading pairs. Can you imagine that? They they are now uh tweeting supporting XRP the base. We're seeing more exchanges adding XRP to base. Why? Faster, cheaper, more transparent. So I'm slowly seeing this. Many of you are seeing this too. People are awakening. To, oh, you mean all that stuff people are saying is FUD? Yeah. Ripple is an actual company going to solve a real world problem. And the crypto evangelist, religious people, whatever, who are super religious about the tokens they're holding are missing it. Um, and like I said, guys, I hold XRP, I hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, I hold Sia coin, I hold Nano, um, a whole bunch of other crypto. So I'm not against anything. I'm just here. I'm against the FUD. 
So I hope you guys get that. I'm against the community, the Bitcoin community and the Ethereum community. Well, not so much Ethereum. It's a lot of Bitcoin people who are spreading FUD and being super aggressive. That's the point of me saying these things because I hold Bitcoin and Ethereum. I want to make that clear. Um, some other news. So, you know, the Winklevoss Bitcoin ETF got rejected. Well, they're trying to organize and, and, and get some other exchanges and, and, and folks in the industry to form an organization. And I think this is a smart move because by themselves, they can easily get rejected. But if they bring the collective group together of exchanges, they can more influence the lawmakers, the SEC and so forth. So I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that is in a nutshell what they're trying to do. The Virtual Commodity Association, that's what they're calling it. Um, and once again, it's going to involve a lot of the other exchanges, blockchain groups and so forth. Once again, a smart idea. I think it's great that they form this organization and then they go after the SEC and, and politicians and so forth. So great, great news here. Um, the next. So there were some other Bitcoin ETFs. I didn't even know about this that was being decided this week, but it's not the CBOE one, the major one. This, these are some smaller ones, but they got rejected. So I'm not surprised by that. You know, they said they were going to meet later in September anyway to discuss a few others. Um, so it was Bitcoin ETFs proposals from ProShares, Direxion, and Granite Shares. I never heard of that. Those um, and they were rejected. So I just want to let you guys know. You know, the market might react to this. Um, let's see. Let me pull it up here and see how things. I think there might be some red. You know, sometimes. Because everything moves with Bitcoin, you know, if a Bitcoin ETF gets rejected, it's just just what it is. Yeah. So there's like a big turn down right now. Um, and it's probably because of this Bitcoin ETF news. So if you guys are wondering what's going on with the market, because it was the price was moving sideways a bit. And now um, probably because of this news today, it's it's got probably going to go back down. But this is not a market breaker or anything because it's just ETFs. But it's one of those things. It's a it's a. It's a threshold that will be nice to pass because it brings more validity to the crypto market for the big money. So I want you guys to understand that, right? Remember, not just crypto, but we're talking about economics and greed and, and money and people trying to make money and Wall Street and institutional investors. Got to think about it from a bigger perspective here. So just want to let you guys know it's obviously a bit of negative news, but um it's just so you know what's going on and it might affect the market let's see i don't i don't think it's gonna mark it's gonna make the market crash further um but we'll see i could be wrong but like i said in my video about the crypto bull run i i think the, the whales who are manipulating the market are not gonna let it go the price go too low why because you and i right the normal and in retail investors they need us to make money they need us to put our money in when they pump it so they can make money um and they're not going to make it go low where people lose confidence because that would be detrimental, for, for, right? If the market, if, if Bitcoin was to go down to a thousand dollars, what? You kidding me? And how much people are going to sell off? I've actually had some friends. I just hit up. I haven't spoke to them in a while, and they hold crypto. And some, some of them were like, "Oh, I sold some of my stuff uh, last week." I'm like, "What? Why did you do that?" And and and, and I started explaining to them. They're like, oh, "Yeah, I." They, but people don't don't really keep up with, you know, look, everyone has their lives and they probably don't have time to spend on crypto and all that. But at least if you're holding an investment, you want to be informed. And I think uh, they kind of dropped the ball on not uh, staying informed on what is going on. And they sold some of their crypto. I'm like, man, why did you do that? Like, why, even if you were going to sell, like, okay, I, I don't want to do crypto anymore. Why sell in the market when the market's down? It doesn't make sense to me. Um, obviously, if you're in a bind and, and you're you know back against the wall and you need cash you gotta do what you gotta do but other than that don't sell when it's down so i never understand that logic i, I would never understand that logic um some positive news u.s congressman reveals she bought ether and litecoin last year why is this important because remember politicians are well known they're they're influencers to a certain degree they're high profile they get picked up in the news so U.S. Representative Tulsi Gabbard of Hawaii brought Litecoin and Ether last year. A recently published financial disclosure shows. So I'm sure there's more politicians. And like I said, a lot of guys in the, the banks who, you know, J.P. Morgan, all that, Jamie Dimon, they hold crypto. The, you know, Jamie Dimon came in and said negative things. Then he backtracked. Guess what? These guys hold crypto. You don't think they bought? They bought, guys. Um, 
So I'm sharing with this because the fact that politicians are doing this and we know high profile people, banksters and so forth, um, they're getting involved. So that's why it's to give you confidence that this is happening because uh, this type of news will also trickle down to the normal people who hear by, oh, a congressman is investing in crypto. Maybe I should too, right? Um, and as the market matures and it gets pumped again, um, we're going to see a flood of people coming back into the market. Um, some other interesting news. Uh, this is uh, Australians can now pay bills using Bitcoin with Cointree and Gobble partnership. So some mainstream adoption here. Obviously, I, I, I live in the United States, so I don't know too much about the whole setup there. But it says here, residents of Australia can now pay their everyday bills with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, regardless of whether the business takes on digital assets. According to the financial review, the option was made possible through the partnership of the Gobill I hope I pronounced it correctly, billing platform and the Australian Cointree Exchange. So that's great. I like that. Um, and this is important for real world adoption, mainstream adoption and so forth. So I think this is great news and positive and hopefully other countries and so forth start to follow suit. And on that note of adoption, this user on Reddit here on the, uh, posted my German bank lists cryptocurrencies in my broker account. Uh, he said, I use this bank for day-to-day -day banking to buy stocks and was quite surprised when I discovered they added cryptocurrencies to my account. Um, so it, I guess it's NetBank is the name of it. And they started adding cryptos in there. So you see what's happening, right? Around the world, there's a lot of movement, a lot of companies, banks, everybody's getting on board. We got to have patience, but this market's not going anywhere, guys. It is not going anywhere. So I hope you keep holding strong. Don't worry. Don't panic. Um, like I said, my catalyst, I believe some positive news is going to come out from the SEC decision in September 30th, even if they don't say, you know, you know or, or like they deny some of these crypto, uh, excuse me, Bitcoin ETFs. I, that's not going to break the market. I think it's, it's going to bother people and, it, you know, it's going to be a bit of a pullback. But I think with the launch of BACT, which is the global cryptocurrency exchange offering custody service for institutional investors, um, partner with uh, Starbucks and Microsoft. That's going to be big. I believe Ripple going live with X Rapid and announcing its bank partnerships and so forth. Um, I think that's going to be another catalyst. And, you know, I, I think there will be some other positive news, maybe another Goldman Sachs or somebody comes out and, you know, things like that when you have like some big names. So while the, the Bitcoin ETF is not a make or break thing, it's just one of those how should I put it? It's almost like an emotional lift for the market. That's how I see it. It's not like, you know, you and I are probably not going to invest in ETFs, but a lot of the Wall Street guys are. So it's more for them. Um, so that's why I was hoping at least one got approved. Maybe maybe it's going to be the CBOE one because um, that's big. And But we'll see how it plays out. But guys, the market's not going anywhere adoption is slowly happening integration is slowly happening we are seeing a lot of movements a lot of companies a lot of banks it's traditional institutions getting into this market so it is not going anywhere keep holding on don't panic have patience um if you invest in the stock market real estate you have to have patience as well right to to make a profit think of it that way as well Obviously, the crypto market um, has more volatility. It swings high or low. Um, the bull runs and bear bear runs and so forth are very close together. You don't have to wait long, you know, for very long time. Um, and you know, some of you have been in the market for less than a year, some over a year. That's nothing compared to other markets, right? But there's opportunity to make money here, and I hope you guys see that. I hope you see all the things that are happening. Um, and as long as the governments are on board, which we know many of them are, and they're going to regulate it and tax it, that's all we need. That's all we need. Because what's going to happen is the institutional money and institutional um, companies and so forth, they're going to lobby the politicians to make laws and crypto ain't going nowhere, guys. I hope you see that. Um, keep holding. And like I said, maybe this ETF news will probably drive the market down just a tid, tiny bit. But I don't think it's going to go too deep because why? The whales can't afford, they can't have us all lose faith in the market because they will not make money. Keep in mind, it's being manipulated to a certain degree. Anyway, guys, what do you think about this news? Big Ripple news, Brad Garlinghouse confirming 
talking about Q3. He expects record-breaking um, participation from institutions buying and holding XRP. So keep holding your XRP. Uh, David Schwartz, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. Check this out. Uh, busting up that decentralized FUD and calling out all the Bitcoin, Ethereum uh, FUDsters. Um, look, I'm, I'm about facts. I'm about making money. I hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, and I'm not saying this to put down Bitcoin, Ethereum. I'm just saying it. I'm stating the facts, but I'm also going against the FUD that's being spread by the Bitcoin community. So I just want you guys to know, know why I'm my approach or my perspective. Uh, Weiss, I don't know what the hell is going on with them, but hey, if they're supporting XRP, if they've woken up and learned and educated themselves, good for them. Winkle Voss Twins forming a reg self-regulatory um, group to, to help get more uh, movement in the crypto market and get things done from the government. Smart idea. Uh, SEC rejects some Bitcoin ETFs, three of them. Congressman woman from Hawaii buying crypto. This I, this is happening a lot. Australian, uh, sorry, in Australia, you can pay your bills using Bitcoin with Cointree and Gobble Partnership. Um, it looks like here this German bank, bank NetBank, has uh, started adding cryptocurrency trading here, and 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 uh, we're seeing more and more of this. So, what do you guys think about this news? Leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for your support. Please help share my channel with your friends and family, those who want to learn about crypto. You know, I don't like to do over speculation here. Just share the facts. Take a logical and reasonable approach to crypto here. So uh, thank you guys. and I'll talk to you all later.